Hi, I'm George, and this is Minecraft Bedrock, but you can play custom discs in the jukebox. First, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, let's see how you can put the custom music onto these Minecraft discs. And as a bonus, at the end of the video, I'll show you how I made these giant speakers as well. Okay, the first thing you need is a custom song. I usually get my songs off of Amazon.com. They come down as MP3 files, and they work great. You can find them any place else you want as well. I like using MP3 to begin with. That seems to work best when you're going to the .com format. Now I'll be using a song here from the YouTube audio library just so there aren't any copyright issues with this video. Okay let's go ahead and jump out to the hard drive and let's take a look at the basic setup. I made a new folder on my C drive. I just named it custom records. You can call it anything you want. Just make a new folder to work in. In here there is my sound file right here. Again this is from the YouTube audio library and it's an mp3 file. Now we need to convert this file over to the .ogg or .og format and I like using a program called Audacity. It's free and it's a great easy to use sound editing app. And I have a link for that in the description. Now I'll bring that up and we'll bring the song over into Audacity. There we go. There's the Audacity program and I'm just going to drag and drop this file right over here like that and there we go. There's our sound file. Now if you want to do any editing, now's the time to do it. You can do anything you want in here, of course, with your sound file. Make it just the way you want. But all you really need to do is to convert this to the .ogg format. And that's over here. File. Come down to Export. And there you go. Export as AUG right there. Go ahead and choose that. There we are. Now you want to navigate to your folder that you want to save this in. And mine's right there. Choose Save. Choose OK, and it will convert the file. Now you can use any length song that you want in here. It doesn't really matter. I've tried real long songs and they work out fine. This one's fairly short though, two minutes and 30 seconds. OK, we're now done with the Audacity program. Close that out of the way. I'm not going to bother saving that. And there we go. There is the .ogg file right here. So that's the one that we'll be using inside of Minecraft. In the last step here, we need to rename this so it will match one of the disks that's already in the game. I'm just going to use the one called cat. There we go, so it's cat.og. And that's now all set and ready to use in the game. The next thing you need is the vanilla resource pack, and you want a current one for that. Let me show you where you can download that. It's at minecraft.net. I'll put the link for this page in the description. Just go ahead and click on that and come right here. Now scroll down, go past these two examples here, and then right there where it says resource packs, you want to download that to your computer. We'll need that both for the record discs. We'll also need that if you want to make those speakers. And there we go. I've already downloaded mine and unzipped it. And it's right here. Let me just open this up in a new window. There we go. Put it off to the side this way. Okay, so now we need to put in a few folders. We'll need the texts folder and the sounds folder. There we go. And make another one here for sounds. There it is. Now inside the sounds folder, you need some more folders. Go inside sounds. Make a new folder. This is for music. And then inside of music, new folder for game. There we go. Inside of game, new folder, records. And inside this folder is where you want to place your new record sound files. Let's go back and grab that one right here. I'm just going to right click and copy. There we go. And let's go in those folders. And then right click and paste. And there we go. Okay, that's taken care of. Now you can use sounds or records that you've downloaded like I have here. Or if you want, you can also record your own songs or record your own sounds and use those in Minecraft as well. If you want to do that, a great place to learn how to do that is on Skillshare, which is an online learning community with thousands of videos where you can explore new skills or improve your abilities. It's ideal for driving your creativity. Just a few of the topics that they have there, animation, graphic design, film and video production. Now, one class that I especially enjoyed, Learn How a Young Guru Engineers for Jay-Z, an introduction to audio recording, where it explains all the important things you need to know to successfully set up a small recording studio. Plus, he gives live demonstrations of recording artists speaking and singing with professional tips and tricks to get the best results of those recordings. Skillshare is designed specifically for learning with no ads or other distractions. New premium classes are being launched frequently so you never run out of fresh content to spark your creativity. Plus, there's a strong community of like-minded learners where you can share your experiences and gain even more inspiration. Right now, Skillshare is offering a free trial premium membership to the first 1,000 people who click on the link in my description. So make sure you go down there and click on that. This way you can try out the complete range of classes and content available. And then if you choose to continue learning, you can simply become a member for a low monthly cost. Okay, so now I'll go back. Now inside of texts, you need to find the correct language file for the language that you're using in the game. That's over here. There's our text folder. Open this one up. Now I'm using US English, which is right here. If you're in England, there's the Great Britain language file. 
So find your language file and grab that. I'm just going to drag that over here, right drag and copy. There's our language file. Now if you have friends who are in different countries, you should also do their language files and you need to edit all of those. Okay, that's set to go. A couple more things that we need in here. Let's just back up here to the root of the vanilla resource pack. We need the manifest.json right down here. And we also need a pack icon. I'm just going to grab both of those and right drag those over here and copy. I'll now just hide this. We'll come back to this when we do the speakers. Now you may want to use your own pack icon. All this is is just a picture. It's a square picture. The default that you can see there is 256 by 256. That's all that is. I'll leave this one as a default. Now in the manifest JSON, you need to open this up and edit this. Now I open mine in a program called Notepad++. It's a free download and it's a great code editor for things like this. I'll just double click on that. I'll put a link for the download for this in the description so you can download the Notepad++ program. Okay, a few things in here. First off, there are these UUID codes. There are two of those, one here and one down here. These need to be different for every single resource pack. They're kind of like license plates. So I'm just going to change the very last number here. I'm going to back up one number. I'll back it up and change the 2 to a 1. Down here, I'll change the 9 to an 8. That should work out just fine for us. Okay, now we have the description and the name. These can all be the same thing, but this will help you find your resource pack. I'll come on custom records and I'm just going to right click copy and I'll put that right here as well. Right click and paste and then right down here, right click and paste. Make sure you don't lose those quotation marks. Okay, one last thing down here it says minimum engine version 220. Now take a look at your title page, bottom right hand corner, right down there you're going to see the version number that you're playing. Right now mine is already up to 221. So I need to change this just that this says 221 right there. Always work from the most recent resource pack and then just make sure that it matches the number in the bottom right hand corner of your version of the game. Okay, that's all set to go. Choose save and that's done. Okay, we're now ready to fix the title of the song in the game. Now here's the name of my song right there. I'm just going to copy this, right click and copy. And now it's going to texts. I have my lang file here set up to also open up inside of notepad plus plus. There we go. Now I want to find the records. Let's do a search for item dot record find next and that takes you right to the correct location right here and in here you'll find the names of all the different records that's right there 11 13 blocks cat that's what we care about and the rest of them are right down here so let's go up to cat and where it says desc that's description right here and there is the description right after that equal sign i'm just going to paste in the new name just like that that's now taken care of we've now renamed the cat disc to this name and I'll save that, and that's now done. Okay, it's back up to our working folder. We're now ready to compile this into the resource pack. So we need the sounds folder. I'll hold the control key down. We need the texts, we need the manifest JSON, and that pack icon. We need those four files. Go up to share. I'll just use the Windows built-in zip right here. So it zips the whole thing together. Now, if you don't see the dot zip on that, go up here to view and put a check right there where it says Phonim extensions. You'll then see that dot zip. And now we can change that zip to MC Pack. Click outside, hit that yes, and you should see the icon change right there. Okay, it's all set to go. Now at this point, if you want to, you can change the name of this. I'm just going to rename this to Custom Records. There it is. And then make sure that Minecraft is not running, and then double click on this to import this into the game. Okay, here's the title screen. It's importing up here. Now just give it a moment or two, and then it's going to say, there we go, successfully imported custom records. So we're all set to go. Let's now come down into settings right here. And in settings, scroll down to global resources and where it says my packs, open this up, find your new pack, it should be right here. Click on that and activate. Double check up here and active, make sure it's sitting here. There it is. There's the default icon, that's the pack underscore icon PNG. That's what I normally use. I just left that as the default for this video. And then back out of here. Click on play and then choose the world you want to play in. I'm doing this one right here, the coastal village. This is going to load in that world and that resource pack. And we'll check to make sure it's working properly. Okay, there we go. And cat is the green disc. That's what I'm holding right there. Let me just change my view here and let's give it a try. Right click. There we go. Click again, comes out. Now notice when I put it in, you see the name right down there, snake on the beach. So that's working perfectly. Okay, now if I open up the inventory, and you see if I roll over this, there's the name as well, so that's also working. That's what we changed inside of the Lang file.
Now you can make as many of these as you want up to the number that's included in the game. The number has several discs. Okay, now let's just take a look at these speakers right here and I'll show you how I made these speakers. They're really pretty simple. I began by editing a painting and let me show you that where that painting is. I'll bring that up in the program that I use which is Photoshop Elements. Now you can do this in any good editing program. I use Photoshop Elements, but Paint.net's also a very good choice and that's free. Now what I did was I just zoomed in up here to the upper left hand corner. I made the size of this whole file four times as large. I made it a 1024 file and then I added in a new texture right here. I just took that from the standard wool block and then I put a speaker on here and a speaker on there. So I just made a new picture right here upper left hand corner and then saved that. Okay, let's now go ahead and see how you make this into a texture pack and apply it onto the speaker. Speakers. I saved that file right here and then we'll be putting it into a new folder. I'm going to open up the vanilla resource pack right here and it's going inside of textures and painting right there. That's where you find that one file. There it is. Okay, let's go ahead and make that one. So in here we need a textures folder. So back to our home tab, new folder textures. Inside of this, new folder painting. There we go. Okay, let's now go ahead and copy this out. I'm just going to right click and copy textures painting and then right click and paste. There we go. That's all set to go. Let's just edit the manifest. One thing here, I'll open this one up and I'll call this custom records with speakers. There we go. And I'll just repeat that everywhere else. So copy that, put it right here, put it right here. Now again, we need to have different UUID codes. So I'm going to back these up again just a little bit. This is going to become zero and this one's going to become seven. That should work out for us. Everything else is fine. Choose save. That's now done. Let's now compile this into a new resource pack. So sounds, text, texture, manifest, and the pack icon PNG. Once again, back to share, back to zip. Rename this one. Custom records with speakers. There we go. And again, change the ending here to MC pack. Choose yes. Double check. Make sure that Minecraft is not running. Okay, double click. Okay, there we go. Successfully imported. That's good. Let's now go into settings and then down to our global resources right here. Let's go up to active. I'm going to deactivate the custom records. Deactivate. There it is. And I'll deactivate that one. Deactivate. Let's come down to my packs and want our new one here. Custom records with speakers. Activate that. Double check it's inactive. It's all set to go. And let's go ahead and launch into our world. Click on play. Choose our coastal village game. And let me get rid of this one. There we go. So first thing you want to do is to come right in front and place your armor stand just like that. Okay, now let's go around behind and do a stack of stone. It's five tall and then one in front. Okay, let's drop back down again and come around in front. Now right above, put black wool just like that. Now come in real close like that. Get your piston and make sure you're like right below that and put your piston in there. Put your lever on the piston and then right click, activate that, right click again, and that pulls it off. And that puts that wool right onto that armor stand. Gives you that nice stand underneath there. Okay, we're now done with all this stuff. So this can all come out of the way. There we go. Let's get around the back side here and get rid of those last two. Okay, for the next one here, we need to get up on top of this thing. And you want to put a wool on top. Now, don't click in the middle. It does weird things if you do that. Click right in one of the corners like that, like right there. There we go. What happens if you click in the middle, it comes down here as a small thing. It's really kind of weird looking. Okay, there we go. We have two wools stacked on top of an armor stand. Now, go to the painting up here, top one up here, right click, and it begins putting paintings on here. Left click to get rid of it, right click to place a painting. Now, there are a bunch of these and they come in at random, so you may have to go through this a few times until you get the speaker. There it is. Once the top one's done, come down to the bottom one, exact same thing. Hopefully, this will go in real fast. And there we go. So there it is. That's how you make those speakers. I want to thank Skillshare again for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out that link in the description. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share. Click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.